Wait. Oh God. When did you get your license? Um. <laughs> Why are you driving? <laughs> getting ready to load up the car and head to my hometown our hometown me and my husband's and the dogs are like super ready so that's why they're going crazy huh you ready to go you ready to go see grandma oh my goodness are you so excited to see grandma yeah <laughs> so they're like super ready and hyped up so I have plans to hang out with my little sister she is 11 and I've done a couple of vlogs with her in them in the past um I did one a while back her and her mom actually came up here and visited with us for like three or four days and I'll link that video up here it's really it's really cute we had so much fun while they were here but my little sister and I are very close even though we are 16 years apart in age we're very close she is my best friend and I think because we have such an age gap um, I, she's my sister, but I also have like this motherly protectiveness over her. I'm very protective over her and she just has such a big spot in my heart. And for about two and a half, three years before we moved, I saw her every single weekend. She would stay the night at my house every Friday night um, because at that time her mom worked like a really early in the morning shift on Saturdays so she would stay the night at my house I would pick her up every Friday after school and we would have a sissy sleepover as we called it and we would watch movies and eat junk food and find things to cook and bake together and the next day we would usually go somewhere fun we go to the park or we go get ice cream or we go to the mall or the trampoline park or something fun um and just create memories together and we had that special time together every single weekend and it's been about a year now since we haven't had those weekends together. And it's it's been hard. Like, I, I know it's part of growing up, especially when one of your siblings is an adult. You move away from home. You usually don't stay in the same spot forever, especially being in a military family. Um, I'm going to be moving around a lot. So it's just part of it. But we have both just really been missing each other lately um, and really missing our one-on-one -on -one time together and our sissy our sissy time. Um, she started middle school this year and she's on a dance team this year and just thriving in school and in life as usual. She's seriously like one of the smartest kids I know and she's just beautiful on the inside and out and um, I really miss our one-on-one -on -one time together, so I'm so excited this weekend that we are going to get some sissy time, just us, and I'm going to take you guys along with it because I think you'll enjoy it. She is just a ray of sunshine. So I'm going to pack up the car right now. I got my bags ready. Xavier is going to meet us down when he gets off work later, and I'm going to load these crazy pups up and head to Florida. pretty baby. I got this girl when I was 12 years old. One of my best friends cat had kittens and now she is 15. Huh baby? You my girl? Yeah. <laughs> She's with me! Mm. I miss my goober. I well, miss my booger. What are we doing? We're going to Cracker Barrel for breakfast because it's the best. And then wherever she wants to go next. No, wherever you want to go no, next. No, it's you. No, it's you. No, it's you. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Typ typically, not typically. What's the word I'm trying Typical? to Typical? No. We're, we're like have the same brain because we can never <laughs> think of the word that we're trying to say. Or I make up random words. She I'm makes up talking. random words. I can't pronounce words. You can't pronounce words. <laughs> we can't ever make up our mind. <laughs> Clearly, it's true. clearly we're sisters. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? Try and solve the Rubik's Cube the, the better way. Why are you talking so funny? Because I have an expander in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you want to 
were doing so good. I know, but now the, see all the pieces are mixed up. Oh. <laughs> That's too cute. Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay. Look at him! She likes sloths, apparently. I love sloths. <laughs> Wait, how many? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> we switched. She drives my car. <laughs> she thinks it's safe. You have to keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my 11 year old sister drives my car, guys. She thinks it's safe. Keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so before a bunch of you um, leave comments down below yelling at me, this is what we do in the South, okay? Your kids drive your cars. Well, not my kid, but the kids in your family drive your cars. But it's okay because we're in a pasture, a wide open field. It's my family's farm. So we're not going to hit anybody or anything. It's safe. It's totally fine. Oh, that's a break. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the break, she says. <laughs> it's been a while since she's done this. Yeah. So just watch that stump and watch this pile of brush just go right in between and then turn around. Okay. Am I good? Am I good? I'm not gonna hit anything. Yeah, you're good. Go this way. Turn. You're gonna hit that branch. Ah! <laughs> alright, alright, calm down. <laughs> Why am I making you nervous? How old were you when you started doing this? Was it like two years ago? Nine? Eight? I think you were n nine, almost ten when you started driving by yourself. But you used to sit on my lap all the time and steer since you were like six, seven. And now she doesn't have to um, push up the chair that much. Yeah, I don't even have to push up the chair that much for her anymore because she's so stinking tall. <laughs> You're doing so good. This is the same pasture I learned to drive in when I was ten years old. Good job. Such a pretty day. Look at that pretty fall sky. <laughs> okay, put your foot on the brake. <laughs> Alright. No, put it in reverse. Oh god. Take your foot off the brake. Now put your foot on the brake. Oh. So, if you want, so let me do a little experiment. Don't hit the gas. Nope, leave it. Take your foot off the brake a little bit, not completely, and turn your wheel to the right. Keep taking your foot off the brake until you're moving. Turn your foot wheel to the right. Now, what way are we? All the way to the right. Just keep going. Oh, that way. Uh -huh. That was right. Uh huh. Yeah. When did you... No, just take your foot off the brake. Turn to the right. Now what way are we facing now? Left. Isn't that weird? Left freak. Now put your foot back on the brake. <clears throat> do it. Do the same thing, but point your wheel to the left. Foot off the brake. 
Keep turning. You're good, babe. You're not gonna hit anything. There's nothing behind you. I'm not gonna let you do anything that's gonna hurt the Jeep. Take your foot off the brake. It is off the brake. Oh, put it, give it a little bit of gas. Just a little bit of gas. Oh God. See, now we're straight back out. Put your foot back on the brake. <laughs> Leave your foot on the brake. Put it in drive. Go. That is scary. <laughs> oh God, my wheel's taking my body like a back road. Driving with my eyes closed. I know every curve like the back of my hand. Doing 15 and a 30. I ain't in no hurry. I will take it slow just as fast as I can. Thank you.